Hello and welcome to a tutorial for DaVinci Resolve 12.5. Now I'm aiming this towards YouTube people, people who want to make videos for YouTube. Um, and if it's if you've used video editing software before, this is kind of similar in a lot of ways. If you haven't, feel free to follow along. Pause when you need to pause, etc. Now I'm just going to go over some of the very basics. If you're going to use this professionally, obviously there are a lot of facets of this program that I'm not going to cover. But uh, this is DaVinci Resolve. It is free to use software. I'll have a link to it in the description and it is perhaps the most professional free to use software I have ever used. And in general, it's pretty easy to use. Now I have used Blender as a video editing software before. I wouldn't necessarily suggest it just because it is kind of confusing and there is quite a bit of a learning curve. Resolve is quite a bit easier than Blender. But uh, this is the first screen that you see. And I just hit open. I, I don't change the project at all. Now I do Minecraft videos, so that's the footage I have here. And the easiest way to get your footage into the program is just to select it and drag it in. Now this will tell me that the frame rate that I have for the videos is different than the frame rate for this project. Do I want to change the frame rate and format of the project? Yes, I do. I hit change. And uh, there may be some other times where I want to add something else into this program. Uh, like sound. Now, MP3s are very popular, but they are not supported by this program. Now, if you try to drag something in here, like I am with the MP3, and it's not copying in there, that's because, sad to say, MP3s don't work. It's not a. It's not supported. And uh, also, if you do that same thing with videos and you drag them in here and they don't show up. Again, sorry, but that's not a supported format for the video. Generally, that's the problem. Um, you can, there are a few options you can do. You can go into Handbrake and change the format of your video there, re-render it as a different video format. And while that does take time, generally that works pretty, pretty good. Um, and I'll have a link to Handbrake. It's also free to use and pretty awesome program for what it does. They recently updated. Um, yeah, but uh, as far as sound formats, Wave is pretty universally accepted and it works here. Now I'll just show you quickly how to change an MP3 format to a Wave format. I use Audacity, so I just right click on it, open with after you install open with Audacity, it comes up, and then you export audio as a wave, save it, I'm not going to this time, and uh, things should be hunky-dory and things should work. So that's the media for f tab, you see we have four tabs here, and the media tab is where you add stuff that you want. The edit tab is your basic timeline, let's add clip here and zoom out so you can see the length of stuff as I add more clips and this is the easiest way to add stuff is just to drag and click and add da -da 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 -da. now uh, let's talk really quickly about trimming clips there's a few ways you can do that uh, one of the easiest ways is just to select an edge and drag it you trim trimming off the edges basically if you want to trim something from the middle uh, what you can do is uh, just select the razor edit mode and if you're to where you want to cut with your preview slider you just cut on there. Alternatively, you can just hover your razor over a spot and it will it will change your preview as well without having to move the preview slider, which is really helpful. And then you just click to cut again and you know, either use that or delete that out from your video. And that's that's trimming really quite basically. 
let me show you how I do transitions. Now there's two transitions I use. There's a ton of transitions over here. I'm not going to get into them. Uh, but the two I generally use are easy and they're done over here. You don't need to drag stuff over. It's fine. You select, the first one is the cross dissolve. You select in between, you right click and said add a, a, I say add a 15 frame cross dissolve. And then I hit trim clips. Um, let's, uh, let's zoom in on that. Let's kind of see what it looks like. Well, that's a bit far. And uh, give my computer a second to think about what it's going to do before I hit play up here. Because my computer's aging. It is actually several years old, and I'm still trying to, to do this stuff with it. Uh, okay. Let's try, try again. Generally, it does better on my second try. Come on. You can do it. But it's just a nice fade between one and the other. I can't really show it too well. That's okay. Now the uh, the other transition that I do is uh, fade in, fade out, fade to black, come back from black. And uh, all you do is you select this little, let's not be that far zoomed in. You select this little white tab that shows up in the top corner and you just drag it away from the edge. Now a second is slash a minute is here and that's the number of frames for the record. So once I hit 30 frames, that's one second. Which is kind of weird, but that's how it is. And that's just a nice fade to black and then come back from black. Let's see if I can show that. Give my computer a second to think about it and hit play. Fade to black, come back from black. Yeah, that wasn't great. Uh, your computer's probably going to be better at that than mine because my computer is, again, quite old. Um, so we talked about trimming. Let's, uh, let's talk about if, say, I wanted to do a time lapse. And uh, generally, I would compress the video so that it moves a lot faster and then I would change the sound so the sound wasn't connected. Um, you may notice that when you click on a clip, whether audio or video, it selects both audio and video. And to, to stop that, you just right click and hit link clicks to d clips, link clips to deselect it. And that's just the bottom option there. But uh, that way you can just select the audio that you want out of there and hit cut. Now we imported this song earlier and it is just over 13 seconds, 13.06 seconds, I believe. Now to time lapse this, it's really quite easy. You just right click on the video, go up to change clip speed, and perhaps the easiest way is just to click and drag the speed until the duration is to where you want, which was about 13 seconds. 13.01, that's close enough for my purposes. And then you just hit change. Boom, successful time lapse. Now, if you're using music as a, in the background of your time lapse, you may want to take into note, uh, here's kind of the sound. You can see the peaks and the dips. You may want to note that if your sound music is high, people are going to hate you. And so you can kind of drag this to match the rest of your movie clip thing. So let's play that. I don't have good at, I don't have a good, my computer will not do a good job at this, but, uh, so you can do that and then you can mess also mess with the, the sound so that maybe it's not as loud. which is something you should probably do or else headphone users will hate you. And then obviously connect stuff back up. Now, once you got all the transitions and stuff ready, you're done, you're ready to deliver. Well, actually let's talk about the color tab for a second. So the color tab is really what uh, DaVinci Resolve was made to do is to change 
originally, and then it became a full video editing software, but it's to change the, the colors in your clips. Now this thing, uh, left to right, represents dark to light. So if I were, say, down here and I wanted to change the dark colored pixels to a higher shade, I could do that. Or if I were over here and I wanted to change the lighter color pixels to a darker shade, I could do that. Uh, generally, a nice little S curve is good. It makes it makes colors pop a little bit. Um, and you really don't need to do that. I generally don't mess at all with this this tab for the record. Um, but if I were if I were doing some GoPro footage, this is probably what I would do. Is I would probably just do a nice little S to to add a little bit more color pop to the the look and feel of the video. But again, I never use this tab. And you can you can ch this is you know different for each clip. If you wanted to, you can change hues and stuff and you can do that by value or by just dragging these little circles around <laughs> which can be fun um anyway you can mess around with the color tab have fun with it and then deliver oh let's uh change my timeline to change the name of my timeline to tutorial why not and then deliver, uh, since this is for YouTube, I generally just use the preset YouTube settings, 1080p. I browse where I want the file. And then I will leave these things uh, set. You can probably change these if you have different settings. I don't know. You may not be able to. Then I hit add to render queue and then I hit start render. And that is basically it. You can see that starts there. I'm going to stop this so that my screen recording doesn't uh, interfere, but you may notice that that, that uh, said it would take about an hour. It's generally a little bit less than what it says it will take, which is nice. While I'm rendering, usually I go do dishes or do something constructive. Sometimes I'll watch YouTube videos. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this tutorial. I'm planning on making another tutorial on making a short and simple outro for your videos, just like an end cap to your video. Uh, so look forward to that. Hopefully this helps you guys. If it does, let me know in the comments. If it doesn't, let me know in the comments. I don't know. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, have a great day.